Today we are creating Whiteboard app in Apple App or Code.org. So we can see this is the kind of app which we are going to create today. So we can actually write anything which we want. And teachers can actually use this app to teach their students. This is an online virtual whiteboard. So of course they can teach students by using this whiteboard. Even there are many whiteboard colors. So they can uh, teach by any of the colors and we can even increase the size of the pen to have the teacher a smooth writing even we have an eraser so we can erase at the fullest of the width also here we can decrease the size for our pen then we can write We can decrease even more size. Right? So how about this application? Did you like this application? Did you all like it? I hope you all liked it, this application. So we can also write anything here. So let's start building this application. Sorry. We have to go to code.org and create a new app lab project. So we will design the app first. So for designing this app, what our components we need is we need buttons for the color. So let's add on. We can remove this text. You can remove this text and place it here. Now let's put a color to it. Whichever color you want, suppose black. Then we will duplicate it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For now, five times. So, five times now, let's change the color for each button for what you want, and even you can add more times. That's all upon you. You can make a dark blue because teacher has three lights with dark blue, right? And teachers don't write with yellow color more. So we can write the colors with teachers use most probably. So we can make it dark green. These are the different types of markers which teachers use. Even we can add pink color. I know pink is not most common, but but I have seen markers with this kind of color. We have one more space to add, so we can add one more color. Which color? Orange. But we just don't write with this color. I don't find to. Um. You can make it any. Let me make it be brown. So then we are going to copy this button one more time for eraser and put it here. Then we are going to add an image to it. Go to icons and search for eraser. Then put the background color. As none. 
and also put the border color as none. Done. So next what I'll be doing is we are going to put one slider. We are putting one slider. So it's so large. Make this slider. Yeah. Next, so here we can make it like first it should be in the value should be 0 or 1. Then its minimum value should be 0 and the maximum value should be 50. Done. Then we are going to call it done. Then let's go to code and design. I mean, not design this turn. Now let's code our app. So, what are we doing here is our first statement is going to be our st first statement is going to be hide. Why are we hiding? Because when we actually were working on total in our one of the basics videos, so there. What happened was turtle was showing whenever we do up right we don't want to show so we are doing it hide next what are we doing let's give a pen color to it pen color should be black at default so whenever the user opens this app the default color is going to be black and for now we are making its direction to be pen up done so now let's go on event on event when our screen one our screen one mouse moves mouse moves then what's going to happen then our turtle will move now wait I'm saying that turtle the bird it's not turtle, we made it. I showed you the demo, right? So it's not a turtle, turtle. So I will not say turtle. So it's going to move to the direction event dot x and event dot y. Fine. Next. But it must be now because here it's only moving. Now we are going to copy the statement. And do for mouse down. Then if the mouse will of course be down. The pen is going to be down now. Because earlier the pen is up here. For this here. But here the pen is going to be down. Fine. And when the mouse is actually up. So we will copy it. And do that when the mouse is up, then pen is going to be up. up. So you can remove this statement and put here pen up. Okay. So now if I run my app and write anything, so There is an error. Wait, let us figure it out. Um, well, there is no error as such. When I run, no, it's not showing an error. Maybe that could be, I don't know. So then, we are going to write anything so we can see that it's writing. Right, so over this much work is done. Now let's do this for slider. So we are going to do that on event when slider 1 gets changed. Then the pen width is going to be Get 
text from slider 1. Done. So let's run. Write anything. Increase the slider. Yes. It's doing. Let me decrease. Yes. So it's all fine. Now let's do for this colors. So on event. On event when this button number 1 is clicked. I hope everybody see the screen clearly. But it's fine to even for me also to do. So this is enough I think. So on even button when it's clicked. Then the pen color is going to be. Yes. Pen color is going to be black. So we can paste it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 times. So now it's time for button number 2. So I'll put in one this channel, button number 2 here. Its color would be red. Then button number 3, green. Then button number 4. So here because it's little bluish, it's darker. So we will click on this button. And we are going to copy its RGB value of background color. Just copy it and paste it there in button number 3. Wait. Button number 5 and button number 3 are different. Button 3 is green. Yes, that no no button 5 is green. Then Button 3 is blue. So here we can paste the RGB value which we copied right now. Find now button number 4. This is a good trick if you want such. And then we have button number 6. So let's copy for that pink one also. Because this color is little different. So that is why we are putting it RGB value. Just copy paste. Then we will do for this color. This maroon type color. Just copy it. And paste it here. Now let's do for the eraser. So for the eraser also we will copy it. This statement and paste it. Then it's button number. 7 then we will make the pen color as white let's i think our app is made done let's test it so hello yes colors are coming hooray our rgb trick is also working fine Let's see if eraser is working. It's small, so I will increase the size. Yes. Now I will again take black color and reduce its size. The teachers cannot teach it. Very easy. So with this, we have created a whiteboard app and we shall be creating more such app in our upcoming video. So stay tuned.